So, how you doing? I'm fine. Good, good. So you're not insane? I don't think so. Because you seem insane. But you better not cry and fuck up your face. That's a great idea. Thanks. Here's another one. Stop sounding so surprised when I have a great idea. You can put fire out with water. You know that, right? I think Eisenhower's penis is a slam dunk wherever you put it. You ever worry people might not be so scared of you if they saw you drinking a liquidated tutu? What are you talking about? This party circuit thing you got going on, I don't know what you really think it is, but it's not stand-up. It's not a gig. It's a party. You are not getting paid, you are not getting booked, and those people are not a real audience. They are politely nodding at you while they drink free booze, and then they talk about the crazy lady who wouldn't shut up the whole night. Everyone in this idiotic business is an idiot. You ever meet someone in show business who's not an idiot, then they're an asshole. <sighs> My jello is disappointing. Okay, Sophie, you have to take a deep breath. Now listen to me very closely. <sighs> this is what you wanted, to be on Broadway and prove you are a serious actress. This is what you came to me for. So now you have to take the cork out of your ass, you have to open your fucking ears, swallow the disappointing jello, and go out there and do the work. And show those assholes you are right and they are wrong. How's it look? I lose the heart. Really? Does it make it stand out? No, it makes it look like a third grader signed it. Okay. Alone, I am a spittoon. With you, I'm a somebody. That's not true, Susie. They respect you because they fear you. You're great at what you do. Uh, half of them respect me, maybe. The other half want to get in your pants. Oh, stop. It's gonna happen. I mean, look at you. It's like a dollop of whipped cream grew ahead. You skip trying to be inspirational when you open for shy and just stick to the funny. I mean, you're not opening for the fucking Buddha. Always a help. Thanks. Now, you could be an original, but you are fucking it all up with this cockamamie alternate universe party bullshit. I can't say pregnant. Are you kidding? Nobody wants to hear that word. Well, I know they don't want to hear it in the context of, guess what? I'm pregnant. Who gets to tell your wife? Any context. It's foul. It's foul. The guy before her talked about getting dick fungus. That was funny. This is female stuff. It's private. It's real. It's life. Literally. She can talk about whatever she wants to. It's her act. Nope. What a drip. You're at the drip. Come on, get with the program here. Why would anyone in their right mind go to parties? I mean, just buy some snowballs and a beer and take the subway at rush hour, same fucking thing. Miriam, I got a bunch of money on the table. We're in the middle of a great roll. I can't just... 7L. Line away, 7L. Okay, so I'm not saying you caused that to happen, but if we were doing great, then you got here and you rolled a 7, so you kind of did. You won something. I didn't win my loss. But Susie, you're walking away with chips. No, when you come with chips and you leave with less chips, you lost. You didn't win. So 7's bad. Yeah, 7's bad. Lou? We both know what a place like this does with someone like Mitch. Girl comic, good looking, just starting out, can't sing. You meet him at the deli like you did, all casual like. And then you schedule a fancy lunch, there's always lunch. Talk to them about their hopes and their dreams. You promise them everything, you deliver nothing. And then you dump them if lightning doesn't strike within the first five minutes. She does not need you, she does not need Randall, she needs me. Oh yeah? Yeah. What kind of contract you got with her? Same kind of contract you got with your nuts. There's two of us and we're attached. Oh, what the hell? We didn't order these. The staff and I have an understanding. Keep them coming, Clint. Hey, Rosie, why don't you eat a little something, hmm? Huh? Hey, Susie, why do you grow a few inches, hmm? Okay, so that's where we are. Oops. He just sold you some line because he wants to get in your pants. He does not want to get in my pants. He wants to fuck you. Work with him. He says we'll be like Nichols and May. Nichols and May don't fuck. Nichols and May totally fuck. That's not what he says. I walked in on them once in the bathroom here. Even their fucking was hilarious. For the record, they said nothing about paying us in tampons. A lifetime supply. But they do this to a man, huh? Where they pay him whatever a tampon equivalent is for a guy. Men don't even have a tampon equivalent. Men suck. Got enough to get the Rockettes to menopause. Now I'll make it work. Did I miss your call? I didn't call. Couldn't scrape up a nickel? I want to deal with your idiot secretary. Hate her. They all secretaries. They're worthless. What's the name of yours? Sandra. Mm. Yeah, she's half moron, half boobs. And 100% my wife. Really? Since when? A few months ago. I'm sorry you weren't invited to the wedding. Mm. I'll go to the next one. Did you have messages from Midge for me? Possibly. Asshole. Asshole. You can't just throw in a random off-topic asshole. An asshole has to be motivated. You breathe, it's motivated. Hey, you guys have got to get a divorce. I mean it. Tell me it's going to work. What? This comedy thing, I'm, I'm staking a lot on it. It's going to affect my whole family. It has to work. Of course it's going to work. No, I mean, it really has to work. Miriam, it's OK. I have been gearing up for this my entire life. I have got a plan. It is long-term, and I swear to you, it is going to work. 